The laws that protect free speech are now clashing with business interests in downtown Spokane. And police say they cannot stop chalk artists from using our sidewalks as their canvases. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey joins us now live at the Bennett Block, where a recent dispute between an artist and a real estate agent ended up on YouTube. Jeff? Nadine, these chalk artists have the First Amendment squarely in their corner, and some people have been slow to recognize that, including the real estate agent trying to lease out space here in the recently renovated Bennett Block building. However, just because you have the right to express yourself doesn't necessarily mean you should be doing it. Rick Bocook has been doing chalk art here in Spokane for about seven years now. Some of his sketches, like the ones done at City Hall, are political commentaries. Others are nods to his heroes. But not everyone welcomes Bocook's presence. You can't hang out here. This is not your property. This is not your property. This yes, is a public is. sidewalk. No, it's not. It's a we public own, sidewalk. This building owns It's a public parking. sidewalk. The Bennett Blocks real estate agent didn't know it at the time, but public sidewalks are just that. The police told this person, because I heard him, that it is a public sidewalk. They also told him about chalk art, that it's protected speech, there's case laws on it. That being said, the owner of the Bennett Block has made it clear to Bo Cook she's trying to attract new tenants to her recently remodeled building and doesn't want Bo Cook's repeat performances. And he knows his constitutional rights allow him his freedom of speech. But what about my constitutional rights? Heber now regularly uses a power washer to scrub away most of Bo Cook's sketches, but some stains are left behind. She says if Bo Cook is truly an artist, then he shouldn't be using art as a weapon. As far as I'm concerned, he's a predator. He has targeted me personally. He's been a predator for a year and a half. Bo Cook dismisses the notion that his art is bad for business or that he's obstructing downtown sidewalks. These are huge sidewalks, and which means that there's a lot of room for people to not be doing pedestrian interference. They have issues. Aideen Bocook says he is not willing to limit his chalk art to just the downtown businesses who are okay with it, and some of them do appreciate the artwork. Ms. Heber says if Bocook can come down here and legally chalk up the sidewalks, then he should come back and remove that chalk when his pictures are no longer recognizable. So, Jeff, why doesn't Spokane sit, kneel, and lie law apply here? Well, you would think it would apply because there's a lot of kneeling involved in doing chalk on the sidewalk, but apparently the current legal interpretation is, is that if you are using music or art to express yourself, then those new anti-loitering laws do not apply to you. Reporting live in downtown Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.